since reviewing books online, people naturally tend to recommend me things. And one of the books is My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otesha Moshveg. I've never read Moshveg at all. She's actually a author that I was quite intimidated by. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like her or not. Similar to that of Rachel Cusk and Deborah Levy. There's something about their, I don't think it's their reputation that precedes them, but their style, that experimental nature to their writing. You don't know if you're going to like it first, if you're going to gel with it. Moshveg is a highly acclaimed author and this is probably her most popular work. You probably know what this is about. We have a rich white protagonist who gets fired from her job for napping and then decides to take a year off to sleep for some rest and relaxation. The explicit reason why she's doing this is never really explained and the three main people in her life are trying to figure out why. We have the madcap Dr. Tuttle who will prescribe any amount of drugs of whatever drugs our protagonist wants. There's Reva, her best friend, who's only really concerned about designer clothes and fitting in terms. She is bulimic and there is talk of that. The relationship between Reva and the protagonist is really good. Like out of all the relationships, it's the best. Juxtaposing that relationship, there's Trevor, the on-off boyfriend, who you'll meet once, hate, you meet a few times more, and the dynamic's pretty much been set from the first meeting, and it's just rinse and repeat. He's not great. Yeah, that's that's that. I'm not writing Moshveg off completely, but this book is utter marmite. You are going to love how it revels in the ennui, or you're going to be on the other side and you're going to hate it because it's boring and nothing goes on. Now you can see how these two things are the same, but you're going to have a different opinion on if they're good or not. Now marmite can be good in some cases. However, too much marmite is not great. It's not great at all. It's a little bit sickly. It's overpowering. It's not really, it's not really something that you're going to seek out to do. Similarly, this book does rely on its dark comic moments. Now, I don't mind a dark joke, but the amount of jabs at the protagonist's mum having breast cancer is... The repetition of it is a bit boring. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I think this is where you can kind of reach this story. It's... It's the same thing over and over again, even though our protagonist is in this ennui, she's a bit of a flaneur, she's trying to isolate herself. None of the other, none of the other characters push the story. They're as much stuck in this cyclical nature as she is. Again, you're going to love it or not. Um, one character I didn't really, <laughs> I, no, I think I did enjoy, uh, the artist, uh, Ping Ji, who is, um, <laughs> like a masturbatory Jackson Pollock, uh, putting tiny pellets of ink and then doing the splatter paintings. If that was okay, it wasn't ideal. I mean, not. Like, simply, like, I think this is, I think it's been said it's like a 9-11 novel. I'm not seeing it. I mean, it features 9-11. Um, and the end chapter is, I get it. I just didn't, I just didn't like it. But this book took me ages to read. Um, I don't really like, like, as, like, a criticism 
um, saying a book took a while to read or like it's really good because I read it in a day. It's not really something I, I base a book off but I really didn't want to finish this. I think it took me like over a month. Like a 280 pages? Um, it took me a month and I remember picking it up. I do like a chapter a day. So yeah, a month, chapter a day. It's not 31 chapters in it. Oh, so boring. I was like, I don't even want to pick this up. Um, characters and likability. Um, she's unlikable. That's kind of all you get. That's all you get. Again, you're gonna love it. You're gonna hate it. Um, maybe this is the sticking point. So when we talk about do we love or hate novels and we categorize them in these different things, like you can see why people won't like it. Again, in regards to is it boring or is it ennui? I mean, ennui is a bit pretentious, but it's not often you can use a word like ennui. And when it does, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, another word I don't often use is synambulist. But this is very synambulist. Um, how she kind of just in this dream state because she's high on medication. Going down to the bodega to have two coffees and interact with the same people on her way up. And it's interesting how image um, is portrayed because clearly being privileged, she looks after herself. Um, although actually, if you compare it to Reva, who's bulimic, there's something to be said there. There's something to be said there. Um, where was I going with this? Mm. Yeah, she clearly looks after herself, but her, like, her cognition of, oh, like, I went out looking, like, in this way, this unattractive, ugly manner. So, obviously, she's not washing, she's not cutting her hair, she's not, like, basic hygiene has gone out the window, uh, because she's, she's just there to rest and relax. Oh my god, this is way too strong. Okay. Mmm. Okay, an entire job might be too much. Okay. I committed. That I would do this. I don't know who I'm doing it for, really. But we're doing it. So did I like this book? Eh. I can see why people like it. It's not really for me. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like the experimentalness of it, but I, like this is the this is the line you walk with. Experimentalism is that to be experimental, you're you're pushing boundaries. You're going to alienate some people, and for me, I just didn't didn't click with me. This isn't going to be a story I'm going to remember. Um, do I think it's overhyped to some degree? Um, this is a whole other conversation about... Um, I get the general trend is, this book's great. Is it worthwhile to give your opinion the other way? Or by saying you don't get it, do you... Um, negate your intellectualism. I think that's that's a big thing about it. I think by saying you don't get it, you're like admitting, like, oh, I'm silly, I'm stupid, I don't really understand. Where, like, it it it's it's a lot easier to just be like, I don't get this. Like, no one's gonna be angry with you. But I would read more mosh bag. I would read more mosh bag. Um, I'm toying between Death in Her Hands 
or Eileen. So let me know, which one should I read? Um, uh, my year of rest and relaxation. It's a three from me. That's a, that's a lot of Marmite. Oh my God.